everyone welcome back to my channel Frohe Weihnachten Merry Christmas I hope you all are doing well and you're having a beautiful Christmas celebration today's video is about the German Christmas traditions that I have experienced and have noticed over the years in Germany and let's get right into the video number one the first thing I've noticed is that the German Christmas period starts officially from the first day in December and they count down to the Christmas day and this time before Christmas these days leading before Christmas is called Advent tide and this is the time whereby you're waiting for the birth of Christ now talking about Advent tide the Advent tide comes with the Advent calendar something like this so basically on the 1st of December is when you start, you open each door and behind each door you find a gift. So I've opened up to the second, it says it's a good day to have a good day. And then there's usually chocolate. So let's say the next day will be number, I think three or four. Let's just open any door. And then here you go. Well, you have chocolate. And this says stop wishing, start doing. So basically, every day of Advent time, of the Advent time from the 1st to the um, 24th of December, you get a little gift each day. And I think it's cool because you look forward to opening a gift and something to brighten your day. Not every gift is chocolate. Some people give cosmetics. Advent calendar comes in different sizes, different ways, different forms. And some people actually make the Advent calendar themselves in little sacks. So every day you open your presents, you open your sack, and you have a new surprise. Another thing that I've noticed is that the days of giving gifts are different. So in the Ghanaian setting where I grew up, the gifts were given on the 25th of December. But in Germany, the gifts are exchanged on the 24th of December on Christmas Eve. So that's usually called the Bescherung, when baby Jesus comes and gives the gifts. That is also a different thing. In Ghana, it's Santa Claus or Father Christmas who comes to give us the gifts. But in Germany or in southern Germany where I live, it's the baby Jesus, das Christkind. Now, so 24th is, another, is the day where you get the gift after dinner around 8 p.m. And another day that you get gifts are 6 December. That's the Nikolaus tag. Nikolaus was the bishop um, in the German history, but he comes with his assistant and they give gifts to kids who were good kids during the year. And if you're not a good kid, you get punished by his assistant. I think his name was Knecht. I don't remember his name. Something about Knecht, Knecht, Knecht. But yeah, that is that is one thing about um, Chris. That is one thing about the gift. So in Germany, you get way more gifts than when I was growing up in Ghana. So from the first to the twenty fourth, you have the advent calendar giving little things each day, and then on the sixth of, of December, and then on the sixth of December, there's another gift. So this is how the Nikolaus tag goes. So the night before Nikolaus tag, that is the 5th of December, you leave out a boot of yours and Nikolaus drops something in the boot. So it could be tangerine, walnuts, chocolate, or money. Or sometimes a mixture of all of it. And in the morning of the 6th November, nobody has to tell you to wake up because you know Nikolaus drops something for you. You go out and you look inside your boot or your shoe and there your presents are. I usually use the boots because they have extra room <laughs> for the kids. Because if you use a normal shoe, it's not that much room, right? So take the boots. If you're coming to Germany, use the boots. More, more extra space for you. Going back to Advent Tide, during the Advent time, families started creating their homes with different kinds of um, Christmas decors. One of these things that I noticed was different was the Christmas wreath. Where I come from, there is nothing like a Christmas wreath in Germany. It's called the Advent Kranz. So Advent Kranz is... Um, the Christmas tree decorated um, how you want, but you need the candles. Now these candles also have meaning. And every Sunday in the Advent tide, so the first Sunday of December, second, third, and fourth. So the fourth is usually the last Sunday before Christmas. On every Sunday when you have your family time, you light up a candle. So you light the candle, and the second Sunday you light another candle, the third Sunday you light another candle, and the fourth you light the fourth candle and then by the fourth Sunday all the candles are lit and this is also a beautiful tradition the next would be of course the Christmas tree old Tannenbaum as you can see right behind me in Germany usually it is a real tree not the plastic tree 
but the plastic tree is slowly taking over but the real tree is more fun it gives you a different scent in the room like the it also adds on to the Christmas scent the Christmas tree is decorated with real candles ornaments Christmas tree balls feed out of plastic glass or metal but these days most people go for plastic anyways it's lighter and easier one big thing that happens during Christmas is the Vinox marked every region every city has their own Vinox mark and that is so so cool I love Vinox mark because Vinox mark basically has stalls that sell Christmas presents or Christmas related decor or Christmas related stuff and in Stuttgart every roof of every stall has special Christmas decoration it is so so beautiful to go and also has one other tradition that is the glue vine so glue vine is mulled wine and it basically red wine hot red wine with spices and it warms you up like from inside out and puts you in the real Christmas mood don't get drunk that is not all there's also glue vine with shoes glue vine with shoes is basically with a shot of usually rum that gets you hay really quickly if you don't want the alcohol version of glue vine you go for the kinder punch one other thing that is always at every Weimax mark is the Krippe. Krippe, Krippe, Krippe. Krippe is the native scene, so it depicts the birth of Christ, where the three wise men came to visit Jesus with the gifts, and it's, mo ma it's mostly made out of wood. The Krippe is almost everywhere, so in church, at the Weimax mark, at the train stations, in schools, in at shopping malls, you find them everywhere, and that is also one thing that I, I notice is everywhere around Christmas, the Krippe. Another thing I've noticed is that Christmas comes with Christmas cookies. So the whole advent site is time for you to bake Christmas cookies here. They are called Plätzchen. You bake different kinds of Plätzchen. My favorite one is Vanilla Kipfel because it smells heavenly. Heavenly. So Vanilla Kipfel and many other kinds. I don't remember all the names, but they have so many Plätzchen. And where I come from, one auntie or friend of your mom's or someone who just makes those cookies for you guys, who bakes them. But here, Almost every household is baking them for themselves and it's also an activity for children, for children to be baking their own plates by themselves. And then these plates are what we eat on the Advent Sunday. Okay? So on the Advent Sundays when you meet together for coffee and kuchen for coffee, that is what you normally have in coffee with some of the cookies. And the 24th is probably the only day or one of the few days that the church building will be full with people because that's when everybody comes to church with their family, with the kids either singing or presenting something and for the um, pastor to bless the congregation. It's also a way to pile away time whilst you wait for the Bechet room for the gifts opening on the 24th. When it comes to Christmas food, it varies from region to region. Here it could be kartoffel salat mit Seitenwürstchen or some families actually do raclette. Raclette is basically everything with cheese. So it could be potatoes, it could be ham, it could be anything but you grill it with cheese and it's slow cooking so the whole family gathers together around the dining table and as you sit and spend time together you bond over dinner and that's it. Unlike where I come from where there are different kinds of food, there can be fufu with soup, there can be jollof, there is fried rice, there is this, there is that and the whole food table is full with different kinds of food and normally raclette is also done on New Year's Eve so it's not just on Christmas Eve but also New Year's Eve when you usher in the new year the family sits together over raclette or fondue where everybody gets their own um, pieces of meat and they fry together at the, around the dinner table and eat with different kinds of side dishes so raclette or fondue is, must, is becoming much more popular it's actually from Switzerland with the raclette is actually from Switzerland but it's also becoming more popular in Germany. So guys, these are the things that I've noticed with Christmas. And one thing that I've always, always noticed is that in Germany, Christmas time is family time. Everybody goes home for Christmas. And even with COVID going on and with the whole pandemic and with the rules, the strict rules going around, a lot of people are still trying to make sure that they can meet their family members in all ways possible. It's physical or virtual. So Germany, family time, Christmas time go together. Guys, this is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Is there anything that I missed? Please let me know. Comment down below. Like, comment, and share. If this is your first time, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. And with that, it's Frohe Weihnachten von meiner Seite. Bleibt gesund, bleibt zuversichtlich und bis zum nächsten Mal. And with that, Merry Christmas from my side. Best compliments of this season. Stay healthy, stay hopeful, and see you next time. Tschüss!